Hello everyone and welcome to Recipes with Clara, a channel where we give you workable recipes to enhance your hospitality. And today we have another delight. We are making a simple pilau that anyone can do. And uh, we hope that you will enjoy this video and indeed try it at home. And so as is always our custom, we want to pray because we believe God is the one who will give you creativity even in your own cooking. Let's pray. We thank you, Father, because you're here. You are with the viewers. You will glorify your name as you give them your creativity and your fruitfulness as they try out this recipe for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow, let's get down to the business of making our simple pilau. Of course, I will use your normal pan or sufuria and uh, this. So we start here. We have our medium size onion. I like a good amount of onion for pilau cut up in small pieces. We have one medium size tomato. Uh, and I've skinned it. Uh, usually you just drop your tomato in boiling water, give it a minute or so, remove it and the peel will come off as you rub on it. The other way is that because I freeze my tomatoes like I have done, I get it out of the freezer, drop it in water that is room temperature, give it also a minute or two and when you start rubbing the tomato, if you can handle the cold, uh, the skin will also come off and then it's easier for me after another minute to grate the tomato rather than cut it. So there it's grated. Uh, that's another way you can skin your tomato and also grate it. Then we have salt to taste. I'm using about three quarter of a teaspoon. We have the pilau masala. Uh, I have used about three quarter. You can use more, but uh, when you have children, you don't want it really hot. And so I've used three quarter of a cup. We have uh, our two teaspoons of uh, fresh garlic. I've used about three cloves, uh, those three pieces. The same amount of um, fresh ginger. Those are two teaspoons as well. I have used a little fresh turmeric that you also find at your local market. Uh, that's a teaspoon, half of this, because you don't want it to the, the taste of ginger to be too much, just enough, and it also gives your pilau that uh, almost yellowish golden color. And then we have a quarter uh, a, a kg, a quarter kilogram of beef. I have already boiled it and uh, as all the water really is gone and just allowed it to fry a little and not to be too uh, wet. Uh, you can see that. Uh, and then we, this is optional, but I love to put a little dania, uh, just a little and a little uh, paper, green paper, as you can see there. This is optional. And then we have a little salad oil, some salad oil, probably about seven or so tablespoons, but you can measure the amount that will be good for you. And four cups of water for our rice and two cups of rice. If, because this cup that I used, I heaped the rice and so I measured four cups of water, hot water with the same uh, cup. But if you don't heap your rice, then make the water three and a half cups, three and a half cups. But if it's heaped, make it four. Yeah, so we begin with the oil and uh, we put in our oil and allow it to uh, cook and then we pour in our onion as you can see I used about seven tablespoons of oil and so we will fry this until it is a light golden brown a light golden brown 
we are now at a golden brown so we add in our garlic our ginger and our Slightly brown, more than I wanted, but uh, just get it to a light golden brown, and we will fry this until it is all dark golden brown. Dark golden brown. So at a golden brown, dark brown, sorry. So we are adding the tomato because of the water, it's making quite some noise. Some of the tomatoes poured on the leaves to we'll cover and reduce the fire for just for a short while to form some kind of a paste. Yeah, so we've done that for about half a minute, and now we will add in our uh, green pepper or hoho and our dania. So stir again and then just do again another about half a minute yes yeah so we will uncover and now put in our salt and pilau masala and so we will stir again you can see that dark color that will eventually help give our pilau that uh, brownish golden brownish look rather than using an artificial or maybe soy or something this will do the job so we give it again another half or so minute so now we put in our meat i love the bones there's something about pilau bones that i like and so i I just I put in the bones as well but you can remove the bones if you want so we stir and we keep stirring yeah. and then uh, I just cover again for another minute a uh, half <laughs> half a minute and then I'll tell you what we will do so after that really short time I will pour in the rice that I already washed uh, yeah, I'll pour in the rice and then stir in the rice until it's all covered remember we are doing all this on fairly low fire yeah, so just keep turning until all the rice is basically covered with that mix yeah so we keep stirring yeah remember this is a very very simple form of pilau uh, that even your children can handle uh, like you saw we didn't put a lot of masala uh, but some people also like pepper uh, if you wanted you could add in a little pepper but because this in this household we have children we, we usually not put but you can put a little if your children can handle that yeah so you see it's all basically covered and now we will get our hot water our hot water and pour in so there we go um, our hot water that's four cups yeah but because it's not uh, we have cooled a little while in the hot water bottle or flask I'll just put it on high heat again just to get it to heat up and start simmering and then I'll tell you what we will do but I'm basically turning it uh, so that all the ingredients can blend in 
very well. Yeah. You can see now it's simmering. Uh, so I'll just stir it again like that and then now cover and let me let allow it to simmer a little more and then I'll cover and then this is one of my ways of saving on my heat because rice will definitely cook as long as that is simmering so I will reduce it to a very low Try reduce that. Oops, I switched it off. But that happened. So we'll just reduce it and allow it to cook on a low flame. Yeah, that way. And so we will allow it, and then for some time I'll tell you how long, and then we will come and check on our rice. We are now at about 20 minutes yeah so we will get we will use a fork you can see I'm using a fairly long fork and just turn the pilau inside out without uh, <laughs> crushing the rice you can see I'm doing from the side in yeah, just to get some of the ingredients on top also mixed into the rice yeah like that until we have it all turned in the fork helps in that you won't uh, crush the rice so use a fork rather than your cooking stick yeah so there we have it so the ingredients I believe are turned in, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so we spread it out again with our fork, like that. You can see the color, and I can tell you this happened, especially because our initial ingredients were a dark golden brown. You would almost think we are burning but you just try to keep your fire at that uh, your, your, hmm, your onion, garlic and the other initial ingredients just somewhere just before they get burnt when you get there your pilau will turn this color you can see that delightful color we didn't have to put anything to darken it so after that we will again cover it for about 10 or 15 minutes I think we will get it to 15 and uh, our pilau will be ready yeah as our pilau is cooking I wanted to say something small about this uh, I you can crush your ginger fresh ginger uh, fresh garlic fresh turmeric with this you just put in the cloves like I told you about three cloves of the garlic or you could cut them in smaller pieces and put them in and put an equivalent amount of ginger and half of the amount of the uh, half the amount of turmeric you could put them in here and crush until they are uh, smooth and well crushed and mixed that means they will all mix in but the other simple way that personally I do a lot because you know a busy household you want something really fast I grate my ginger with the finer side of your grater I will uh, grate the ginger I will grate the garlic and I will grate the what is it called the turmeric uh, and that way when you cook you will I still find you will get the same results only don't use the bigger side use the finer side of your grater and make sure your grater is sharp enough because that's the one that will get your ingredients really grated well this is now 15 minutes we've done 15 minutes you can see our 
pilau is basically maybe uh, you can see the grains of rice are separated if you find that that hasn't happened yet uh, you can allow it a little more time remember we have done most of this on low fire and uh, our pilau right there is ready we have our final pilau just look at it that dark or golden brown i was telling you about you don't need an artificial color to get there now you know what to do just to have your pilau as natural as possible and really really tasty i can tell you you can always add a little more salt if you're a person of salt you notice i don't put a lot of salt in food i've uh, decided to do a uh, a little salad or kachumbari there just to go with the pilau and give you the vegetable part of it and uh, you can see my daughter can't wait to eat that and so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you can consider subscribing sharing liking and uh, in the coming future just look out for our videos uh, that like i always say are doable are workable at home that can also give you a different way of doing things an easier way really of doing things so thank you so much for joining us and until our next video let's say bye, bye.